Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. This is a beer that uh, was brought to me from uh, a guy named Jason, who actually lives here in the Albany area. He was in Switzerland for like almost a year as an intern there. It's a very long story, but he brought me back a bottle of Cantillon. I, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, this is their uh, Rosé, Rose, I don't know, Rosier de Gambrinus. And it's funny, there's like a cartoon of a naked woman on this cover. <laughs> what is up with that? Classic Belgian green bottle. And this is actually a pretty fresh beer. It was um, bottled on February 18th of this year. So it's like, what, six months, almost seven months old. You know, it's corked in... Uh, that's pretty cool too. Adding that to the collection. Here's the uh, bottle cap. I've seen that somewhere else though. This is, I don't know where, because I, this is my first Cantillon beer. So it's technically a, a Lambic. It says it's uh, aged by macerating fresh raspberries and two-year-old Lambic. Complex aromas and sour taste make this unique beer excellent thirst quencher. Um, yeah, so it's a Lambic, pretty strong, you know, stronger than, um, uh, what's that company called? Lindemann's. You know, I think there's like 2.5, 3.5 ABV. This is 5% ABV. So I'm using a, a f you know flu. I haven't used one of these in a long time. It looks, eh, I mean, it's it's more of like a pink in real life, but it, I mean, it, it looks like a glass of red wine or something on camera. It did have like kind of a pink purplish head, but it, you know it fizzled away pretty quick. It is super super funky. It is like just total barnyard on this, almost like. Like I actually don't even really smell any fruit on this. Like I just smell the the sour qualities to it. Um the horse blanket, you know, very farm, very almost like horse manure, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, very like dry, like I can almost smell it, like the dryness in it. So it's a warm summer night. Let's see if this is the thirst quencher it claims to be. Cheers. Mm. Uh, that's a nice lingering sourness on it. Um, well, I forgot to mention the guy who gave it to me. His name's Jason. So thanks, Jason, for the bottle. He didn't even charge me for it. So double thanks on that one. Um, yeah, I mean, like I, I said in the aroma, I couldn't smell any raspberries, but you definitely taste them on this one. It's a very tart, sour. It's just like, it's not that, like, compared to like Lindemann's, which is like very sweet almost like a, a syrupy kind of flavor to it. This is totally different. This is like almost like a dry wine. Well, you get the tart, the sour, the the raspberries right through the middle there. You get the classic, I guess it's, it's I mean, it's gotta be Brett, I'm assuming, uh, Brett kind of quality up front and on the back. Just keep plucking my tongue. Keep pulling that sour off. Wow. I mean, that's a nice sourness. It's like... It's really splitting the hairs between sour and tart. I mean, it's both at the same time, really. But the raspberry is definitely giving some kind of tartness to it. But the lambic, you know, the base lambic, is a nice kind of sourness. Um, not sickly sweet. Like, a lot of people don't like Lindemann's because it's so sweet. I like it. I like this one a lot too. Mm. Residual tartness on the tongue and in the throat actually. I can feel like tartness, sourness in my throat. It's weird. It's not hot or anything. It doesn't hurt or, you know, isn't, you know, annoying or anything. It's just like this sensation I can feel. And you know what? It actually. While it's like going right across the tongue, it actually is quite refreshing. Um, I, it's gonna, but like then the you know you have the residual sour sourness on your tongue. Like you know if you eat like a whole box or like a roll of spree candy or you eat like a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids, it's the same thing. Like like candy is made with malic acid, which is like pure concentrated sourness. This is all natural organic sourness from the yeast, but 
it's the same it's the same sensation you just had that like that lingering coating on your tongue mm. yeah very belgiany funky like i just had two russian rivers um within the last couple of weeks i had the supplication and the uh sanctification and those are more of like the sweet juicy candy sourness Whereas this is just the straight up, you know, all natural uh, yeasty sourness. Um, I mean, I was hoping for more sweetness. I mean, you can see the pink head now. I was hoping for more sweetness from the raspberries. Um, but it's like, it's not all that fruity of a beer. I mean, I like fruit beers. But like, you go into this, I mean, you can get somebody blind. You, I mean, they'd probably say there's fruit in it, but it's like, I don't really think of it as a fruit beer. Uh. If you're drinking sours, the champagne flute is a good um, good glass to drink out of because it forces your mouth to pucker just to you know, be able to sip the drink down. Yeah, that's really good. I think I like my... Um, I like those Russian River sours a little bit better than this, but... You know, and I like the Lindemans too. Um... I mean, I, I don't really have a whole lot of experience with really authentic Belgian sours. I know like, this isn't, I mean, well, this is a Lambic, so, I mean, I don't know if they use wild yeast or, or, or open fermentation or what. So, I mean, I don't really know what's going on with this beer. I mean, I like it, that's for sure. Um, I'll give it 8 out of 10 to the Cantillon Rose de Gambrinus, assuming I pronounced that right. Um, yeah, it's it's a really good beer. Nice sour. I like, you know, glad I got to try it. It's a little bit different than from what I've had before. I personally, I like those those Russian River ones, you know, better. And I like the Lindemans ones just about the same, but like, because I have a sweet tooth, I like those really sweeter, you know, more like even though it's like so called fake, because um, I know they add sugar or something to it. But you know, it's good, um, and this is good too. I like it, so I'm glad I got to try it. Um, I'd be d interested in trying some other Cantillons if I can get them. But uh, now it's nice to have some reference now to know what these beers are about. Well, I mean, I don't know if you can judge the whole line just by one bottle. But anyways, going very long here. Again, 8 out of 10 for the Rose de Gambrinus. Thanks to Jason for the bottle. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I will see you whenever. Cheers. Bye.